my channel. Today we're doing some pre-fall decorating. I know it's not quite time for full out fall decor, but I still want to slowly transition my summer decor into those nods to warmer, richer textures and colors and just make it really cozy and ease into the fall season. I don't know about you, but it is still blazing hot here and we're just wrapping up summer. My little boy's about to start school. I'm over my garden and all of the flowers and I'm just ready to start looking back on the inside and simplifying my spaces before we bring in all of the seasonal decor all the fall decor and then into christmas i really like this transitional time to be simple but still cozy so before we get started let's go check out home goods together i filmed a little bit yesterday whenever my mom and i were shopping looking for some pre-fall decor things that would just be good neutral pieces i was looking for some florals a new vase and some apples because it is almost apple season very excited for that and then i always like to add in some new kitchen towels so i was looking for some of those so let's head to home goods i'll show you guys some of the fall decor that they have out this is like a sprinkle of fall it's definitely not a full home goods fall shop with me if you want to see that let me know down in the comments below i can absolutely go back film that for you guys if you do want a full out fall shop with me video i have already filmed at hobby lobby so i'll link that video down below if you want to go watch it but without further ado let's go to home goods then we'll head back here and we'll do some decorating together when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright gave you so much inspiration if you are looking for some fall wreaths. I couldn't believe the aisle of wreaths that they had. They also had such pretty arrangements at Home Goods. I was super impressed with them. However, they were very expensive, like the red maple leaf arrangement with the really tall stems. I loved that, but it was $50. So I think we could definitely DIY them or make an arrangement on our own that would be a lot more affordable. So I'm planning on doing some things like that, but I definitely got inspired and I picked up a few things for pre-fall. And I keep saying pre-fall, but it's really just this end of the year season before we're getting the fall stuff out. We also hit up Kirkland's after we went to Home Goods because I didn't find any apples there. So I'll show you a few things that I picked up from Kirkland's too. They've had wonderful sales going on, lots of clearance items, and I actually found the mirrors to go in our new house for our bathrooms there. So very excited about that. I'm planning on doing a fall Kirkland shop with me because they have some really cute stuff out. I found some really 
good clearance finds at Home Goods. They had tons of pillows on clearance. They had clearance all throughout the store in pretty much every department. So if you're looking for some good deals, now is the time to head to Home Goods, head to TJ Maxx. They're marking lots of stuff on sale. So I picked up this copper tray. I thought this was very pretty. This is going to be great for fall decorating and it's also good all year round. So I love making tablescapes and that's what I'm gonna be focusing on when we decorate together here in a minute. But I have this copper tray, it was originally $12.99 and I got it on clearance for $9. I like this one because it's a very big size. It's also great for serving. So this will have lots of different uses, but I do still love using copper and more so like patina copper, just different types of metals for really all year round decor. So this is just a good staple piece. Like I said, I wanted to incorporate some apples into the decor. So I found these florals and I thought these were so pretty so realistic and I think they would go well with the apples and transitioning into that fall color palette they are more of like a red almost burgundy but not quite more of a red and it has lots of textures so different colors and shades of red in there but it's definitely more on the like maroon burgundy side but not too much where it looks like just fall decor these were $14.99 at home goods and i grabbed one bunch of them the stems are actually pretty long i had them folded because i was kind of playing around with the decor but i like that there are little smaller flowers and then you have your full peonies i think that's what these are and some that look like they're half bloomed. So this is going to be the star of the show in one of the arrangements. And then to put these in, I found this very large jar. It's actually like a canister. This one was from Home Goods also, and it was $12.99. It came with a little silver lid and it has that hobnail design. It reminds me of my little hobnail cups that I have. Let me grab one. Here's the cup I'm talking about. I drink out of this all the time. This is actually a Dollar General find, but I found a link for them. I think you can get four of them for like $22. So I'll link that down below if you've been wanting to get some of these cups. But I thought these paired nicely together. These sit up on the shelves, but with this being like a centerpiece on the table, I think it will tie everything in really well. And then once I'm done with this as a centerpiece, I can always put it in the kitchen with some flour in it. There's just lots of different uses for these jars. Love that. I'm going to put these flowers in there. And then I was wanting some apples. These green apples came in a bag and they were, I think, green tag clearance for $14.99 or $14.97. And I think I actually got them a little bit cheaper. So got a bag of green apples. There are five of them, I believe, in here, unless one has rolled away. <laughs> I think there's five. And I'm planning on putting the apples actually in the jar. So that's my inspiration. We'll see if we actually go with that. But in my head, that's what I have planned. Like I said, I love to get new towels. So I found this kind of like rust colored, but I do think it pairs nicely with the red. A little bit more of a reddish, like burgundy color. And then I also picked up a four pack of, I think they're linen napkins. And I like to just have these around for tablescapes, decor, they're really functional. So this is the color palette that I went with and I thought they went well together. And then the last thing I got at Kirkland's were some green clearance tag plates. If you remember my fall runner that I had on my table last year, it looked very similar to this. I love this plaid design. I think it's very pretty. I like the darker, more moody colors going into the fall months. And this was on clearance for $2.97. So I grabbed four of those. And then I also picked up a few wreaths for fall, but I'm gonna save those for a fall decor haul video of the things I pick up this year. So stay tuned for that. So let's head over to our table and start putting together some pre fall vignettes. Hopefully this will give you some good decorating ideas. I love putting these together, playing around with them. I'll pull stuff off of my shelves and things I already have, and we'll just have fun decorating. So if you want to do this with me, go grab all of your fall stuff, pull it out. Let's start mixing and matching and make a fun tablescape together. 
All right, look number one, we are starting with the copper tray and I'm also pulling out this vase. And these hydrangeas and flowers are from my local grocery store. I just grabbed them honestly like a week and a half ago. So they're starting to look a little rough, but I love this look of having fresh flowers in a vase. So I'm going to enjoy them while they last. <laughs> they're almost goners, but I think they're so pretty. I love the pops of green and white with the copper. I'm also getting one of the striped hand towels. I thought that looked good against the copper tray. And then I'm placing a wood riser. This is actually from Clint Harp Design in Waco, Texas, whenever we went on a trip. So fun. So I'm using that to elevate a Copper Candle Co. candle. This one is in the banana muffin scent and it smells amazing, but they are getting all of their fall scents out. So I'm really excited for that. And last but not least, I'm finishing the look with a gold little pitcher. And I think the mixed metals look really ties everything in and gives a nod to the cottage farmhouse style. For look number two, I'm using this Lazy Susan tray that is actually from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. I bought it whenever it was half off, so such a good steal. And this is such a universal piece, so I'm going to use it for the centerpiece. I'm first styling that canister that I'm using as a vase and I'm placing the green apples inside of it. I'm just layering a few at first and then I'm going to cut my flower stems to be the right length. And I'm just going to place them right inside the vase and I'm putting the stem in the middle of the apples and just placing it until I feel like it's right. I love these flowers. I feel like the greenery is really pretty on them as well. So I'm just trying to maneuver them and get them to look right for from all the different angles and then once I had them all nice in place I added the other two apples in the vase as well you could have a few hanging out on the tray I thought that looked good too but I decided to ultimately put them all in the vase so this is the first step I like to stick with one larger statement piece and then work around it Next, we're adding the plaid plates. I think this ties in really good with the more bold colors. So this is a very bold centerpiece. And then I'm adding salt and pepper shakers. And I love these because they have the copper on top and they also have gold. And then I'm taking some greenery and I'm actually pulling some of it off of the stem that it comes on and I'm making a candle ring out of that. And then I'm going to place that same Copper Candle Co. candle in the middle of it. And this is the second look. For the final centerpiece, I'm using a basket from Walmart. This is very affordable. I also have this faux greenery plant from Target. I love the patina on the vase. This is my larger statement piece, but to add some extra height, I'm adding this farmhouse vase from Walmart as well. And then I'm tying in this linen napkin with this teapot that's also from Walmart. So I love these pieces. You can style them so many different ways, but this is definitely a neutral look. So let me know down in the comments below which look was your favorite. Was it one, two, or three? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed going shopping with me and seeing some home decor that's good for transitioning into fall and also putting these pre-fall tablescapes together. I'll have my fall 2022 playlist linked down below if you'd like to check it out. I've got lots of shop with me's coming and decorating videos, so stay tuned for those. If you have any video recommendations on where you would like for me to shop, just leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a video, and I'll see you soon in my next Next one. Bye friends.